Our team comes up with a threefold plan. Hopper and Jane will venture back to Hawkins' lab and close the gate to prevent the Mind Flayer from taking Hawkins. Joyce, Jonathan, and Nancy will take Will to Hopper's cabin and burn the Mind Flayer out of Will's body. Lucas, Dustin, Will, Max, and Steve will enter Hopper's hole and set fire to a central hub to try to give Jane and Hopper a fighting chance. The Mind Flayer resists the attempts to purge it out of Will's body, tormenting the boy as Joyce steals herself to keep turning up the heat. Eventually, the Mind Flayer has no choice but to exit Will in a massive cloud of smoke and shadow as it flees into the night. Max and the boys have to defeat Billy before stealing his car and heading once more to the pumpkin patch. There, they soak the hub in gasoline and set it aflame, pulling all the remaining demo dogs away from the portal. Dustin exploits his connection to Dart a final time to escape the flaming tunnel. In the lab, Jane focuses all her rage and pain into a battle of wills between her and the Mind Flayer as Hopper protects her from a relentless demo dog attack long enough for her to force the gate closed. She collapses with the effort. We end things this year at the annual Hawkins Snowball. Northern Indiana might be cold in December, but our hearts are warm as Joyce finds comfort in Hopper. Steve maturely deals with Nancy and Jonathan's happiness, and the children all get a moment of happiness they so richly deserve. Welcome to Dungeons & Demogorgons, the officially unofficial podcast for Stranger Things on Netflix. I'm Jim. I'm Aaron. And we just finished the final episode of Season 2 uh, called Chapter 9, The Gate. We, I think, are mutually pumped here. It was, in my opinion, an awesome finale to what was a, an awesome season. I, I thought almost tip to tail this thing was great. Yeah, I I mean, I, I have... I have one less problem with than you for the season. <laughs> so, like, I, to uh-huh. me, this is almost flawless. And, I mean, the only thing I can say bad about it is that there's a little bit of Return of the Jedi, Death Star 2 element to, uh, you know, uh, uh, to Jane once again stretched out with her hands, screaming at something as it dissolves in the light. Mm-hmm. But, god damn, the last 15 minutes are just so perfect. It's such a <laughs> It's such a great... A uh, stress reliever, a pressure reliever, and every moment is earned, and nothing is false. And I just, yeah, uh, it, it made me extremely happy to watch this this episode and this season as a whole. Uh, it is fantastic, it's fantastic television. I agree. Um, I don't know if we want to talk about the finale, right? Like the final part of this episode right away, but there's plenty to talk about here. Um, I. Uh, like if we start from the beginning, we obviously had the reunion of Mike and L um, and Mike just throws this tantrum at Hopper for keeping him from L and, and it felt like yeah. it, it was earned. Like I, I wish Mike could be a little more understanding, but I, I get why he isn't. Yeah. he's that... <laughs> And that's the problem, right? Like I'm going to be a little more level headed than Mike here and say, right. I'll allow him this, this moment of, of annoying uh behavior but and hopper handles it perfectly too because he gets he understands the score yeah uh, and he takes a lot of punches in this scene he does See, they're, he, they're kid punches i think david so. harbour could take an infinite amount of mike punches <laughs> what about uh, a knee to the groin i was worried i was worried for his groin <laughs> well mike knows the where the line is he does yeah he doesn't want it to go quite it's the, the belt. Go time yeah 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 it's well, <laughs> you, the you, line. you stay stay north of that and it'll be fine yep uh yeah i mean that and then immediately the the Hopper and and Jane coming to terms with their relationship mm-hmm. uh, in the car ride over to the lab where because that's the thing like when when Hopper was apologizing to her and saying I don't really know what I'm doing I was just trying to protect you and I was scared and I was stupid yeah like I was already starting to say yeah but she and then she started to also apologize for being stupid and they just kind of had this this. Uh, reconciliation and and hopper told her she looked cool or bitching mm-hmm. as she says in her in her clothes and um and you know, hopper's got a new daughter in this scene effectively yeah you know? yeah and he like he comes clean to a, her about a lot of his personal fears how he th- feels like he's a black hole and how he r- yeah. r- uh, ran off uh sarah which i think is his wife right he's not talking no about his that's da- that's his daughter and i don't know why he says that he destroyed her that he's the black hole here, but oh, see, I thought Sarah was his wife. I mean, it works either way, but uh... no. In the bar, when he when the guy asked him what his daughter's name was, in the spelling bee, he says Sarah. Okay, so gotcha, gotcha. Either he's lying to that guy, which right. is possible, or that's his daughter. Um, but I I thought that that was was great. Um, yeah, and also because the thing is, 
we we talked about this, you know, right after the episode, even before this episode. If every season ends up with L, you know, just screaming at something, CG something, and it dissolving, mm-hmm. I, I guess the difference in this season is I don't think they would have won had the boys and Max not done their pretty heroic sacrifice too. Yeah, like and- like. When 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 um, Hopper leaned in with his knife and looked and saw this just this place overrun with dim, Demig dogs, he mm-hmm. knew there's no way there's no way they're going to get this done. No, but it bought him the time they needed. It did, it did, and the whole way this ended like with Steve putting his foot down just as Billy arrives, and then Steve standing <laughs> up to Billy and, and Max. The kids. Not just not being able to stay out of it. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. And like it looks like Steve is going to win the fight outright, and then uh, Billy starts kicking his ass, and then Max. Um, yeah. Which is funny because I I wondered she stuck with the zoomer thing mm-hmm. with the car, <laughs> but nice. as as she stabs him in but beh- from behind with the needle, I'm like, well, she's the rogue. Yeah, that's yeah, that what she too. needs. That's the class that she needs to be. But. There you go. I feel like that now she's finally part of the group because she's able to successfully defeat Billy and and Mm in the end of the episode, you know, not to get too far into that, but it seems like they've, their family has achieved an uneasy peace Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some sort of understanding. Uh, I don't know. Do you think that going forward, Billy will be a villain? Do you think he'll be like a... I I think he is. uh, He seems to be at bay for the moment, Mm -hmm. but there's still something there, you know? Um, I don't don't know if it's that Billy is intimidated by max at this point that doesn't seem right but he's Mm -hmm. they give each other a weird look while she's getting ready for the ball and the thing is i i don't think billy is a bad guy i mean (sighs) that's it's it's in some ways he is in some ways i feel bad for him I mean, yeah, there's the, the thing is like he he's got this irrational racist hatred for Lucas and, uh-huh. and probably all black people that he needs to deal with. But he's also got, you know, a lot of pathos similar yeah. to like Steve and he's also a very strong character again similar to Steve. I really liked a scene with Nancy's mom. <laughs> he's a fucking charmer. And like we noticed that the uh I don't know if that's a real Harlequin romance book that she's reading in the tub, but mm. or if it's it's fake, but it, it looks so much like Billy. The makeup, the hair. Yeah, everything about it. And yeah. and she just char well, I mean she wasn't wearing pants. She had she was pants. Not. She, she she he splooshed her mm-hmm. as they say on Archer. And that was just a really funny scene. Like fucking Ted yeah. sack of shit Ted had his, <laughs> his case of beer and is passed out for tonight. And uh, you know Bill, Billy's tr- putting the moves on on Mike's mom. I, I wouldn't yep. mind seeing him. I wouldn't mind seeing him brought into the story. Uh, you know, yeah. fix his dance. Like you know, obviously Lucas is going to be like I, I don't know. That's the other thing. It's like these kids are all kids. Uh, it's very unlikely that they're going. I mean, I don't know if they're going to go a Harry Potter direction that like all these kids are just going to like matchy matchy and get married and, and live happily ever f- forever and all is well and all that shit. But um, I think you know, I don't. I, I think I think uh, Lucas will be good to Max and maybe that will win over Billy. Maybe, maybe so. I'm I'm surprised, I guess, at how riveting I found the fight between Steve and Billy. I knew yeah. it had to come eventually. Uh-huh. But we had so much other stuff to deal with and much bigger issues yeah. that I expected it to fall a little flat, but it didn't. Mm. I, I was absorbed the entire time. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, and I was I was wrong about the the two versions of Steve. Neither version can take Billy. No. I thought maybe the alpha, the hidden alpha Steve, could. No, it just feels like Billy's got a couple inches and twenty five pounds of muscle and on Steve, pro- and probably like. 10 years of getting his ass kicked by yeah, his dad true, on Steve. Like true. that's what I think pushed him over the edge. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's been accustomed to physical violence from an early age, which yeah. is uh that's uh that's, that's that can give you the edge. I don't think Steve's had a day of discipline in his life. Probably not. He's been handed the keys to a new BMW every time he acts up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just you know, if you be good, I'll give you the new the, the <laughs> right. new Beamer. Um but that 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 was that was pretty cool. I also, I'm worried that that Max has not solved this Billy problem though, because right. if I know anything about bullies, y- you have to disable their ability to strike at you mm-hmm. um, in in a way. And if that means destroying their their self image or the image that everyone else has about them, that's one way to do it. But Billy has not really had that happen to him yet, and I'm worried he's going to come back more dangerous. The thing is is about that look is I wonder how much she got away with telling Billy because mm-hmm. 
she knocked him the fuck out. Yeah. That house was, uh, you know, it's it's your late season, season two of Stranger Things, Joyce, red yarn, fucking crayon drawing nightmare. And then Max steals his car, dings it up as she runs over a couple of mailboxes. Like, I wonder if if Billy knows more than we think he does. Because why huh. wouldn't like yeah, like yeah why wouldn't he why wouldn't he like take that to his parent or what does his parents say like the, I, I wonder if something passed between them that we're just not privy to yet yeah maybe so or maybe next season is going to be he's going to be playing the foil like where he's trying to find out or I don't I don't know maybe I'm not, he... not going to try to second guess the Duffer Brothers they have my uh, yeah. they're they're uh, like end of season two leftovers uh, um, you know Damon Lindelof mm-hmm. with me right now yeah like they Just they bring apparently on whatever can't you do, do any any wrong uh, my my thought is he wakes up after being knocked out and he goes to the fridge for a beer and realize and he sees that dim a dog in there oh yeah that thing's still in there you're right they you're never right. did anything with that so like that's something max could do she'd be like look shithead yeah. look, look at this you son of a bitch i'm looking for that to come back in season three yeah i also wonder i mean i don't know what the, what these things can do well i mean yeah okay because like there's no way it came back to life because when they shoved it in the right. fridge my first thought is like oh my god it's a universal soldier situation they like the cold it's going <laughs> to heal itself and uh-huh. but Joyce, I'm sure, has still has the use of refrigerator, and there's not a giant demogorgon still in it. Yeah. So, although that's the other cool thing is like the watered down version of the truth, where some kind of government gas, the asphyxiated barb, and they've shut down Hawkins Lab and driven it out of the the town, mm-hmm. um, is is kind of neat. That's a that's a positive development. Um, I wonder what they would do with a frozen demodog. I don't know. Like that's too much truth. That's back to that's oh too much vodka. Too much vodka in my club soda. <laughs> uh does Dustin take that to Mr. Clark? <sighs> I mean dangerous. he didn't he didn't seem to have been changed by the knowledge. I wonder uh, cuz like uh, Dustin seems like he's on the verge of being a scientist. Like I wonder if he mm-hmm. just takes it upon himself to do the studying. Like yeah. this is going to be his personal hmm. like project. He's got to let. I don't fuck. I don't. Maybe know. I don't know where he'd keep it though. The like, storm cellar. The cellar. That they thing was they empty. Have a fridge down there. That thing would no, but I mean it'd be easy to get like one of those small little freezers, and he can a little get a little, little dissection table down there. Maybe he's got a I don't know trash trash can full of formaldehyde. Can I ask Steve for the money again? I don't want to do the Duffer Brothers job <laughs> for them because they're way better than me. Yeah, um, but but that thing's going to come back. That thing was not left as a dangling thread for no reason. Yep. And I have to extend an official apology to the not even a little bit evil Dr. Paul Reiser. No, Paul the Reiser, all good. Paul Reiser did the ultimate 80s science fiction Paul Reiser subversion, and he was a, <laughs> he's a decent guy. He's a stand-up guy. Hell yeah, he is. He even gets, with that bum leg, he's still a stand-up guy. Gets Elle the birth certificate at the so end of this thing? So she can be a real little girl in the mm-hmm. eyes of the government. Now there's still... They need to ease her in. Yeah. I mean, nothing else because she's fucking weird. Sure. Like she, mm-hmm. she needs to, she needs to be socialized and learn some vocabulary before you introduce her into this, this world. But like, there's a clean, clean path for her. Like maybe Hopper adopts her, um, but she can now be integrated into society. I think maybe homeschooling is in her future. I don't, I don't know how you catch her up to public school at a, at a middle she's, school level. Do you think that she's in above average in. intelligence? Because that's the thing we hmm. don't like. She could just yeah, be know. like slightly dumb. Even she just got fantastic mental powers. Maybe. But I mean, like, I, I guess I assume that she's like hyper intelligent and she'd be able to pick this stuff to get, uh, together. Maybe she would. So do you want to talk about the scene with Will getting, uh, exercised? <laughs> yeah. The, the exorcism of Will Byers again, this kid, this kid's just yeah. doing just doing work this year, and he is. I I wish he didn't have to though. I wish he was able to participate in the adventures that his friends are having without being the the evil guy here. Yeah, no. I next season, next season, it's got to be the season of Will. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this was kind of the season of Will. He got to do some of the best work um, for and... sure. But I want him to be a hero, not something to be feared. Well, that's the thing I'm wondering is because, yeah, no, no a snap here. I wonder, because we're wondering, like, how did they keep upping the stakes? And, you know, they showed Will. He didn't, maybe he doesn't have superpowers, but he did have a, a, a connection with this monster that's going to be probably useful on an ongoing basis. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wonder, because you also saw Dustin took a lungful of the shadow monster's 
yeah. aerial sperm, and whatever it is. freaked the hell out about it. Well, and I mean, got over Hopper it. did too. And, but then got over it like super quick. Hopper fell down and he was wearing died. a mask at the time. So he probably didn't get the full, the full blast. But yeah. I wonder if um, like there's going to, like, I, I wonder, is Hopper going to be unchanged? Is Dustin going to be unchanged? Or are we going to, are we seeing like a team of like proto X-Men that they're all going to develop? Power? I, I don't know how you keep th- making things bigger and better. Mm-hmm. Like we went from a single Demogorgon to 48 demodogs and a just a colossally giant shadow monster to complete control of Will's body. They got to get bit and, and the portal's now closed. They got to get bigger for season three. Hawking's yeah. lab is closed down, which might, I mean, that's the other thing is like, this is a two edged sword because on the one hand it could, it, it could be good. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, that was the only thing that was kind of keeping a lid on this situation. Now you don't have yeah. the benevolent saint, like, uh, you know, beautified dr paul riser to to monitor things and keep an eye on things yeah uh so nancy and jonathan might have fucked hawkins by driving the lab out of town although they did give barb's family closure which is nice yeah no um hmm. that's possible i i wonder so they definitely need to get at least different i would say next season like how do you go more apocalyptic than the end of the world um and this gigantic monster, which we see at the end of this thing, still is there. not dead. It's just that was one of the best. Off. Like guys, they pan out, and we're like, ah, oh, you know, at the snowball. Then the uh-huh. snowball starts twisting upside I'm like, down. Don't and... you fucking flip this thing? Yeah, they did, and they did, and it looks bad, <laughs> and that thing looks pissed. So it's, I mean, yeah, but it's can... going to come back. So w- the interesting thing is, we still have nine other super powered people out there that that could at potentially least... at least nine others that well, we. Ten. That we know have to exist. Oh, yeah, yeah, nine others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think that there's... Because, like, when they broke into the Rainbow Room, it was just just Jane and uh, Callie. Right. So... I think they're waiting to cast those others for season three. Well, I just wonder, maybe maybe the others, like, you know, didn't survive the process or whatever. It's a a Spartan situation where not all of the kids make it. No, Uh, um, but we have nine others others that we could potentially play with, so... Yeah, you've also also got... uh, you also got Jane's mom that they could somehow hmm. psychically rescue, and maybe. she could be a player in the game because she's. I think she's got powers of her own, not as Seems maybe to. as strong as as Jane's, but mm-hmm. you know. But I, I mean, I might be okay if they went a little bit different with it next season. Didn't try and go bigger, but maybe had some kind of different resolution and different climax. Honestly, because, I could, I could like get you said, down. It was very familiar. This I could year. get down with a whole like a year of just like nothing supernatural, just like an '80s version of the Wonder Years with these kids. <laughs> uh, you know, like 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 make the monsters be the B plot, and this just do some solid character development, and then fuck shit up in season four. I yeah, I mean that's the funny thing is when he's talking to Doctor Paul Reiser and the the benevolent Doctor Paul Reiser, mm-hmm. and he gives him the birth certificate and he says, "If you want to be safe, let this cool off for a year." I was like, "Oh, a fucking course you're going to say a year because that's when Stranger right. Things is going to come back." You know? Right, 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 right. And uh, again, they've got so they've got a lot of narrative reasons why this thing might be a yearly cycle. The fact that these creatures don't like hot and it's fucking hot as balls in Indiana yeah. in the height of summer. The fact that, you know, 11 or Jane needs a year to be reintegrated successfully into society. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's one of the things I was highly skeptical of and they've seemed to solve that problem. Yeah. But I tell you what, the other thing is, like, we haven't talked about the sheer spectacle. Like, when you see that fucking portal, how big it is, and yeah. how many Demogorgons, like, you just wonder, like, how? And and they did this thing where, I mean, I don't, this is kind of like we talk about this with the X-Men movies, where you've got two uh, characters psychically battling, and it's just they're levitating and screaming at each other mm-hmm. and throwing a bunch of CGI particles. And this was exactly that. It was. Um yeah, it's tough to do the mind powers um, and, and, that's the, and keep it engaging. Going forward, they're going to either have to continually come up with interesting ways for the others to contribute running these like in-game, you know, they, they, these in-runs around the main threat why, why Jane just solves it. Or they're going to yeah. have to – like one f- interesting flip is if uh, Jane gets incapacitated and all the normals have to do something. Yeah, sure. And make, they've got, make it the Goonies, right? And with 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 Doctor Paul Reiser, uh, they've <laughs> now got a a person who's alive that like would be a big boon in that kind of because because yeah. I, I wonder if the government's going to now that the lid's kind of blown off on this, they're going to go develop a whole bunch of like anti demogorgon technology. Hmm. 
like a Half Life sort of situation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or like, or like a Ghostbusters, only like you know, uh, black ops and professional. Yeah, uh, that could be cool. Yeah, uh, maybe. So, do we want to talk about? I think it's about time to start talking, just gushing over the end. Because... Okay, one more thing, real okay. quick. I want to know how the idea of dart loving nougat meshes with the the mind the hive mind thing that they've got going well, because especially... he acts very differently than the others yeah and i think they leaned into that because dart was still not completely dead and was collapsed on top of the milky way yeah or i'm sorry the three musketeers bar as if it psychically ignored its imperative to return to home base to defend the mind flayer right and I wonder if they're suggesting that that human contact uh, gave it enough of a personality that it was able to do that. Maybe. I mean, it, it's, we're not we don't fully understand it, but I think I, one thing I think it's significant is that 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 bond was still somewhat intact. Mm-hmm. Um, like it absolutely recognized Dustin, and Dustin exploited its connection to him and his love of nougat yep. to to get past it, and also. We last saw Dart, it was still breathing. It's still moving, making mewling noise. I don't know that I'm not sure it's dead. Okay. Maybe it was far like the psychic it was far enough away from the gate when it was closed that the psychic connection being severed didn't kill it. Hmm. And it'll be an ongoing care. Because they, they also gave it like um like in like in the Gremlins, you had stripe. They gave it a distinguishing right. physical feature, that yellow mark on its ass. So, you know, I guess I would buy it if I saw it in season three that um and there's a plenty of tunnels for it to be rampaging through and causing mischief. Sure. Those tunnels aren't going to go anywhere. Nope. Before we talk about the snowball and everything that happens after the gate is closed, I want to talk about uh, opening up a gate, a gate called mm. club.ballmove.com. If this is the first podcast you've heard or if you're really enjoying the coverage, we we, we spent a lot of time and effort. Uh, we, we gave up a weekend, a whole weekend with our, with our friends and family to, to watch this show. And the only way we could do that is because uh, bald, bald Move is a full-time job for us. And primarily because uh, our listeners directly support us through the club. If you go to club.baldmove.com, you get a bunch of bonus features. You get a lot of unique uh, special audio and video content. You get ad-free feeds for the podcast. You don't have to you know listen to us pitch various products or even the club itself. Uh, there is VIP access to the forums, just a bunch of stuff. All, all those pitches are at club.baldmove.com. You get a 30-day free trial, uh, and we'd really appreciate it. If, if you liked our Stranger Things coverage, uh, and we cover so much, if you go to baldmove.com, so many shows, so many movies, so much pop culture, uh, if you'd like to help us keep doing that and get some cool rewards for yourself, go to club.baldmove.com. We would really appreciate it. Is, are we ready to talk about the end now? Yeah. Um... I like how they jump ahead one month later again. They do. Um, and I really liked when we saw the Briar household that Will has drawn a a, a a tribute to Bob Newby as a superhero. Yep. I thought yep. that was really fitting. And also my wife told me, so we were, there's a, there's a after show called Beyond Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. There's, I think, an episode for every episode of Stranger Things where they sit down with the Duffer brothers, and I don't know what the guy's name is, but it's the dean from Community. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like kind of leading a roundtable discussion with these kid actors and a lot of people from the show, and they're talking about this stuff. And my wife was watching this as we were doing this this process today, and she said that they mentioned that Sean Astin, um, that he was originally meant to be kind of a villain. Mm-hmm. That he's going to be this two faced, like trying to get in <laughs> Joyce's pants, but being a real shit to the kids. And yeah. there, this Bob turned out like he's Sean is such a warm and and goofy and cool dude that they just couldn't do it. And they they rewrote his character as this 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 nerdy, lovable, heroic guy, uh, which I thought was super cool. And I'm actually kind of excited to go through and look all, at all of those uh, Beyond Stranger Things. Yeah, Because it too. looks like it's really well done. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, that, I thought that was interesting, and that was a fitting tribute to him. You also noticed something, that they took this this Polaroid of Mike. Yeah. And the way they composed it, there's a lot of, like, negative space, like, to the left of him and behind that you wondered, like, I wonder if there's going to be something in the static or, and yeah. I'm, Cause I, if you remember, like that's where Joyce saw the, the yes. mind flare, right. In the yes. static of the JVC recording. It wouldn't surprise me if there's going to be something like that's like, so one of the hooks for season, season three. Yeah. And we did see Jonathan taking, um, 
you know, video of, yep. of the Will J- as the JVC, ready. The JVC lives on. <laughs> it did make another appearance. Not a super important one, but maybe season three. Yeah. Return of the JVC. Uh, I love Lucas practicing his smooth moves, and then his <laughs> sister coming in and calling bullshit on uh-huh, it. Yeah. I love that Dustin's mom has got oh. a replacement for Muse called uh-huh. Twos. Yep. And it's this adorable little kitten. And okay. This this is bald, the moment the, we have to talk about. The bald move the bald move team is sharply divided <laughs> once again in these final three episodes. <laughs> I loved D- Dustin's Farrah Fawcett hair. No, Dustin. Dustin, stop it. You don't need Steve's advice. Your hair is fine. Just be you. He's straight up Ducky from. He's uh, never looked more like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got he 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 looks cool, man. Like these uh, these I like it's, his it's jacket. lost on these thirteen year olds, and I and I I man, I really felt for this guy because he's like you know, uh, Will gets zombie yeah. boy gets a girl, even zombie boy. Uh, Lucas gets the one that he wanted, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to make it the best out of this situation. I'm going to approach all these girls, and they all fucking shit on him. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, like, I'm like, what? Because I was waiting to, like, some – because they've never really established him as having a crush. And they already pulled, um, you know, pawned Will off to some rando. But can they do that again? And then the camera <laughs> falls on Nancy, who's yeah. volunteering – as a kind of chaperone and she sees that and she she rescues him fantastic moment with him where she says look these girls are stupid i was stupid that age right a few years from now they're going to appreciate who you are and she's taking him and help and also this automatically you could see the other girls like now this like hot older girl is dancing with dustin and they're like oh fuck Mm -hmm. and you know she says that you're always my favorite which you know let's be honest he's everyone's favorite now yeah sorry lucas (laughs) I'm sorry, Luke. D- Dustin. <laughs> Dustin has definitely su- su- supplanted you in my heart now. Yeah, uh, that was great. And like, there's just like I, uh, it got really misty in the bald theater. Mm-hmm. Um, I, 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 this is just so emotionally fulfilling. And then they go out with Hopper and Joyce, and they had this yeah. story about them smoking uh, in in the schoolyard, mm-hmm. and they're doing that again. And he's comfort, and, and you know he can under he, they both know what it's like to lose someone now. Yeah. Uh, and then now with Hopper out of the way, Elle and Mike finally get to kiss. Yep. Uh, that was like, I, I knew it was coming. Yeah. Like Mike's looking glum and they'd taken care of the other three guys. And like they already had the ho- the conversation with Hopper saying, well, can what about one night? Yeah. And the snowball was something that she was looking so forward to last season until she got vap- evaporated. <laughs> and when she walked in, it was just great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her and Mike dancing was super awesome. Mr. Clark's fucking Christmas sweater super awesome <laughs> um this school like looked you know this it, it's it's on the upper end of believability for a small indiana school to put on this awesome a production for a middle school dance yeah but it looked kind of like it looked really legit and great. everyone I, got a great like it's bittersweet like you know joyce bob was a great character and i think she loved him already, and then he's such a fucking hero and saved them all yeah. that, like, it's not going to be, like, I mean, clearly this opens the door for Joyce and Hopper, which I think it does. everyone's low-key shipping. Oh, for sure. But yeah. Bob is such a sweetheart that, like, as soon as, like, midway through the season, I'm like, well, f- you know, fuck Hopper, sorry. You're going to have to go find <laughs> right. somebody else. And I'm not like, oh, thank God Bob's dead now. No. Joyce and Hopper can get together. No. I, That's a, no. I'm just like... Okay, well now that Bob's dead, narratively, Hopper's back on the table. Yeah, if if they want to, and I'm not even sure if they will, but if they want mm-hmm. to, like they have a solid friendship that stretches back many many years. Yep, that would make sense if uh, you know they they did they did something with that. Like everyone, there's a mutual a mutual love and respect. Uh, that, 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 that there's a mutual love and respect there amongst everyone. Yeah. Like, like who calls bullshit if, Je- if Hopper and Joyce get together? Jonathan? No fucking way. No. Like, no. Will? No fucking way. Uh, J- Jane? No. no. Like, it's... it's. I, I'd like to take Will uh, into the D&D basement, sit him down at the table and say, all right, Will, th- this is before season one starts. You're going to go through a year and a half of pure hell. Right. But at the end of it, you're going to get to dance with a girl and kiss her at the right. at the snowball of '84. Right. right? Are you in? Yeah. Because <laughs> holy shit, that kid's been through so much. Yeah. And to give him any kind of moment at the end was so needed, so yeah. desperately fucking needed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that yeah, it was it was fantastic. Yeah, will the wise give it up for him? Mm-hmm. 
uh yeah it's it was it was perfect this i feel like this this met and exceeded far beyond my expectations for this season yeah um i think netflix has got a huge hit on its hands they've really caught lightning in the bottle uh and i can't wait i'm really excited to see what the duffer brothers do in the future like it's a done they're gonna get one of these big marvel movies they might get a (laughs) star wars movie like our, like Guardians three or something. Yeah, who who would you be more excited to hear taking the reins of a Guardians three or a Star Wars Episode nine or a young Han Solo chron? I mean, I kind of wish we could take uh, the young Han Solo chronicles away from <laughs> Ron Howard and give it to the like. Okay, uh-huh. this was a bad. Okay, do over, do yeah. over. This thing's a train wreck. Uh, we might recap. We're going to keep Donald Glover, and we're just going to give this thing over to or fuck that. Just like let you know what. Th- Fuck Han Solo. Let's give the Duffer Brothers the Lando Chronicles uh, and build it around Donald Glover. And I mean, I'm they, they, they. I hope they don't get like sucked into some bullshit DC or Dark Universe Universal Monster bullshit because yeah. they deserve a top of the line Marvel or Star Wars franchise. Yeah, and it's got to happen. It's got to happen. If they have it, maybe they don't have an interest in it. But like, goddamn, I want to see their take on Star Wars. <laughs> They've got this shit in their bones, right? They do. It's seemingly, yeah. And the um, and same thing with the comic books. Like, I mean, they've the boys have almost all been about D and D and Star Wars, but in the very first episode, they established that they're super into comic books too. X Men. Yep. Yeah. So, like, fuck. That's what Sony should do. Just hand it to them. <laughs> so give, like, you know, you you got a little momentum built with with Logan. Give the Duffer Brothers and X Men to revive and reap in the fucking rewards. Stay the fuck out of their way. They got this. Yeah. No, that could be cool. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to watch anything that they do in the future, and it seems like for the next few years it's going to be Stranger Things, which I'm yeah. cool with. And my also my excitement for David Harbour being in Hellboy is now off the charts. Yeah, because he's got this like hulking charisma already, and you put horns and red body paint and a giant stone fist on him, and I, yeah, yeah. Honestly, he's one of those um, shit, Chris Pratt. Kind yeah. of guys where I saw him floating around that I knew his face, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he had never really done anything to stand out. And yeah. now, now we're talking about big time career boost. Yeah, you can do the emotional stuff. He's funny. He can yep. be an action guy. Um, my wife texted me and informed me that she's going to uh, pursue a divorce uh, and and, pers- <laughs> and stalk him full time, Lucas uh-huh. and Dustin style. So I got that going for me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, maybe I can be the cool ex-husband in that relationship. Uh-huh. Hey, David, how you doing? <laughs> you enjoying Cecily? Um, I, yeah, this, this is a great season. Um, I'm really curious to see. I hope nobody hates it. I don't know if I get a feedback where people just like. I if, can't If someone's imagine. like, I just thought season two is a massive letdown. I didn't like it. Like, that will really bum me out. The only real more, criticism. More for them than me, but. <laughs> the only real criticism I could see somebody leveling against it is that it's more of the same. But. Honestly, that's what I signed up for. Yeah, and, more of the same is not a bad thing. And it, it seems not to matter that the, to me anyway, that mm-hmm. the overarching plot is kind of the same. Big mm-hmm. bad threat comes in. Mm-hmm. It's resolved in the same way with mm-hmm. pretty much the same patterns, like yeah. distractions and, and L. Yeah. It, it's really about the texture here for me. And it's yeah. so fucking good yeah. that I, I just lose myself in it. And when the big things come along and I go... Oh yeah, that's just like last season. I don't, I don't get mad at that. Yeah, because everything else is so enjoyable, and the characters are great, and the payoff to the characters are great. That like, I- I'm serious. If the only flaw of the series is on the fi- finale episode, uh, Jane just screams at some CGI thing. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Yeah, I really don't care if everything else is entertaining and gripping, and and now that they've killed Bob, like I feel like there's real stakes too. Yeah. Um. You know, and I guess that that's going forward. I wonder if these kids are absolutely safe. If one of them will, because there's there's the other thing is like there's a lot of uh, emotional depth that they could yank out of the audience by killing these kids. And yeah, one uh, one or two. One, yeah. I mean, they they increased they the party to. size right this year, right? So right. They could shed a few pounds on that party. Yeah, I don't, and I don't, I don't think they they have to. No, but I've certainly like invested in them enough that it scares me. Yeah, and that's what you need the audience to always think that it's a possibility that these guys, these people can can fail. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, hats off to everybody involved. Good good work all around. Yeah. I think that's it until um, 
our wrap up cast, which we don't know when that's going to be yet. No, but it's but definitely coming. It's definitely coming. Stranger Things of dot com for the email for that. You can go to the forums to dis- discuss uh, as people are catching up. There's there's a there's a thread for every episode. I'll probably start a wrap up thread after this. If you want to just give overall thoughts or you know appropriate place would be on the the ninth episode thread as well. Um, and we appreciate you going on this journey with us. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, follow us on social media or stick around at baldmove.com for everything else we do. Because we're, we, we, if you're just finding us because of our Stranger Things marathon, uh, we cover a lot of shows. We got a West, we're, we're, we got the Walking Dead right now. We got American Horror Story. We got Mr. Robot. Uh, next year, we are looking forward to Westworld, mm-hmm. which we do upright. We also have, uh, I would say, decently successful game of thrones podcast we have so many television and move and we're always doing first run movies we'll be seeing thor and star wars and some of uh, the people's favorite films coming up all this stuff going on baldmove.com thanks to sonos for sponsoring uh the season of stranger things i will put in their their promo code the stranger 10 promo code and the link on on uh, this episode nine show notes as well uh, I just had a great time. Uh, it was a great, you know, I, I was kind of dreading this weekend because I knew it was going to be a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of work, but a ton of fun. <sighs> Thank God. I've enjoyed if, it. Imagine if this had been a oh, shitty season. No, I couldn't Whew, have done that's it. That's the thing. Like, there's a <laughs> hidden level of difficulty where I was kind of ready to be pissed oh, if, I, if I if I spent all this time and, and effort and, and I wasn't rewarded, <laughs> but I, I was totally rewarded. So yeah. thanks for joining with us. Hope to hear from you in the, uh, the wrap-up podcast. And uh, until the next time, I'm Aaron. And I'm Jim. See ya.